Hello guys, it's me again, this time in English again, and uh, today we are talking about the Britons in Age of Empires 2. Uh, I have made this video series in German a lot already. Um, I made a few videos, like 8, 9 or so, in German for Age of Empires 2 and 3. We are going to look at the in-game dialogues and look at the translations. Um, don't be afraid, I would just i'm not going to translate yes to yes i will try to explain the, the 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 origin the etymology of the word the words and yes if i do any mistakes don't blame me write it in the comments i'll try my best we'll start with a little historical lesson so which language did the britons actually spoke the Britons speak a mixture of Old English and Middle English, whereby the monk and the king speak Latin. The new modern English, which we know from nowadays, has evolved from the Middle English. So, I have prepared a family tree, I borrowed it, and, um, and you can see here it started above with Proto-Germanic and has gone to west germanic so which side are we looking to we're trying to begin from the english perspective the anglo-frisian perspective perspective and try to go up to the proto-germanic if we don't find any recognition in other languages sounds good i think so so i have sorted the pages by speeches by speech categories and um, we start with the addressed ones the commands the tasks and the battle situations so that the people who don't know the game uh, can actually play and learn together with us so you have to imagine age of empires 2 is a middle age war strategy simulation game okay so we start with yay yay Yes. Greeten. Yes. Greeten. Mandatum. Mandatum. Ready. Ready. So, like I mentioned, there will be a few Latin aspects. The settlers only use two phrases of it. And I will mention when the words are obviously Latin. So, I'll count down from three to one. And you can pause the video here so that you can try to find out what the words could be mean where the origin can be if you have a little knowledge already so one three three two one so the britons say yay yes we say yes the recognition here is that all germanic languages have the same art of yes ja 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 be it swedish dutch german or English. The Britons say Britain, we say greetings. So this word comes from the Proto-Germanic Grotiana. Grotiana. And in German it means Grüßen. Translate into English Greeten, to greet. You have the word Mandant in German, which comes from ex manu datum, which means to give by the hand, to give from the hand. There we have ready. Ready comes from Proto-Germanic Raidas. Very interesting. Sounds very hard. Second page. Here is a complete Latin speaking page. So if you know something, which I haven't mentioned here, you can write it in the comments. Um, we'll start with this one. Presto, presto. Salve, salve. Ein, ein. Impero, impero. Three, two, one. So the Britons say presto, the monk or the king. Yeah. This means I'm ready. So pre, pre, like mm, a few of you should know, means in front of, before. And sto, and sto means I stay. In front of, I stay. I'm ready. Salve means hello. Ein means yes. Impero, I command. Here you have a little recognition. Emperor, commander. 
Interesting. So this is the last Latin speaking page, except of Equilen. That's, by the way, my favorite dialogue from the Britons. Equilen. Equilen. Correctus. Correctus. Sane. Sane. Argo. Argo. Three, two, one. So the Britons say Equilen. Nowadays we say I will. You have the recognition in all Germanic languages. Ich, ek, er, ja, I. So even if you think that is not a part of it, it is. Swedish way to say ish. Correctus means right or correct, like you should know. Sane. Certainly. Ago. I do. So we're at, now we're at the task page and this gets more easier the further we go, but you can try to find the origin of the words. We start with this one. Bulden. Bulden. Chopper. Chopper. Firm. Firm. Gather her. Gather her. Three, two, one, go. The Britons say "bilden." We say to build. This "bilden" comes from the Proto-Germanic word "bodla," "bodla." So "bodla" means building. Yeah. In German, you say "bauten," "gebouw." In Dutch, "chopper," "chopper." The interesting thing about Persian is, well, I've mentioned it already in the last videos. Persian has a big influence in, in nowadays uh, Indo-European languages like this, Chubur. Firm, to firm, comes from the Proto-Germanic word. Fermo means to live. Wow, wow, mind-blowing. Means to live? How close can you be? Eh? Gatherer, gatherer comes from the Proto-West Germanic word. Gaderon, gaderon. Hmm. So, tasks again. Fisk. Fisk. Ditch. Dich. Estora. Estora. Hunter. Hunter. Three, two, one. Fisk means to fish. Comes from the Proto Germanic word fiskas. Maybe you know the brand Fisk Whiskers? Cat food? Hmm? Cats love fish. Hmm? Ditch, trench, or Dig to dig. Um, I found out that there is a low German word which means um, dig, which evolved into Deich or Teich. You can um, see it like a curvature of or a camber type. Istora means restore. I have no recognition, it's, it's too easy. In German, you say restaurant to restore something. It is also French. And yes. Hunter, hunter. The Proto Germanic word comes from hunton. The origin from this word is huntona, to catch something or to hunt something. So I have prepared a little question for you guys. Um, the word hound or hund or hunt in Dutch or German. Um, the, the, the dog was used. Back in the days, in, in the years of 200 or so, the dog was used for works like catching animals and, and guarding places and so. So do you think also that Hund comes from Huntona? Last page, battle situations. You have... Battle! Battle! And... Fight! Fight! Three, two, one. Britons say battle. We say nowadays battle to battle. So this comes from a proto Germanic word badwo, badwo, fight, fight. Comes from a proto Germanic word petan, to fight. And in German, you don't have fight or fighting, you say kämpfen. So I ask myself, where did kämpfen come from? 
or where did fight go? Fechten means fancing, a way of fighting. Very interesting, friends. Very interesting. So, guys, I hope you learned something. Um, if you have corrections or more ideas for these type of videos, I am going to make a few more of these kind and try to find the words in the Proto-Germanic history, origin, etymology. And, um, yeah, if you want more English translations from games, speculate age of empires series um just write it down eight here you have a little con re here you have a little here you have a little recognition re here in 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 english to my view new view <laughs>